What's up guys, Connor with TGN here, and today we're going to be kicking off episode number 11 of the Minecraft Let's Play here on Hardcore Mode. Now, if you guys have not seen the show before, definitely go ahead and check out the links in the description, and that'll take you to the full show. Also, you can click up in the top left where it says Let's Play Minecraft, that blue link uh, will take you to the full show, and you can go ahead and check out all my Minecraft work. Now, um, let's go ahead and start out here. We're on single player, Connor's Let's Play. Last time I logged in was like two seconds ago, because I just logged in to see where we were, because I had been like four or five days since i've played and uh yeah i just wanted to make sure um i don't know everything was still going well and just kind of check out what was up in the game and a lot of you guys have been leaving me comments saying that my farm is actually wrong and uh i do see the problem with that i did not know this before but pumpkins actually need space to the left and the right of them to grow so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is take out every other um i guess pumpkin area right here so we'll go ahead and do it like this, and I completely screwed that up, because we need to actually go ahead and place pumpkin seeds right here. There we go. We'll do the same over here. We are actually losing a good amount of seeds, but got to do what you got to do to go ahead and get those pumpkins growing. And on this side, it should be pretty much fine, because there's space right here where it can go, and this one's not going to work. We'll go ahead and move that. But I also need a lot of wheat. Also, we're going to go ahead and add a mine shaft in this episode because if you guys do recall, we do need at least three pieces of diamond and we only have one. So, actually, someone also told me you hit O to hide the Too Many Items mod because a lot of people are uh, or could, I guess, wonder um, what's up with Too Many Items and if I'm using it or not. That was that was a really awesome noise. Uh, people have told me also that the cave noise is what I've been hearing and also with the combination of the cow. It uh, sounded pretty awesome. So, uh, the too many items mod thing, I only have it installed because I like to go in creative sometimes and try things out. Uh, and some people have been wondering or asking or saying, oh, you're using the too many items mod. That's kind of cool animation. Uh, people have been saying, oh, you're using it or you're not using it or whatever. Um, and I'm not using it. You guys don't believe me or if you've never seen it before and you're like, oh, well, maybe he's used it before. Uh, you can go ahead and check out. I document everything I've done so far in the game. Uh, and that is actually everything so far. Every bit that I've ever played in the game has been documented. So you could actually technically, if you were really wondering, you could go through and check and make sure that I've actually gathered all these materials. I have. The only times I've logged in separately is like just before this episode because I hadn't played in a few days and I want to make sure I was caught up on where we were. But other than that, really, guys, um, you guys have seen everything uh, that there is. So, yeah, actually, I do want to get some more wheat. So let's make sure I grab all of this because I want to be able to mess with animals. And uh, by mess with, I mean gather them and hopefully breed up some chickens because I've been watching pretty much all of Otter's videos. Uh, and he's the only Minecraft director I've ever really talked about in any of my videos, but his videos are pretty awesome for what I've been doing at least, because um, pretty much he's doing a let's play, just kind of a let's play, I guess, on a different map, and I'm actually doing it in hardcore mode, uh, trying to beat the game, so it's kind of a good example for me, or it kind of shows me a few things about the game and what I can do to go ahead and beat it, so it's definitely helping me out quite a bit, so big, big thanks to Otter, and I think, like, if you grab wheat, like, look, the animals will follow you, which is pretty awesome, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to build kind of like a, I don't know, like a, I don't know, like a farm of animals, I guess. Uh, and I'm going to try to have it somehow attached to my house. So I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to be building a mine shaft in this episode. So there will be a good amount of fast forwarding here pretty soon. But for right now, let's go ahead and start on this, um, this farm. So what I'm going to need is to start clearing out a little bit of area. We'll go ahead and flatten all this out for right now and make sure that's all even. Now, uh, something that's really annoying to me uh, and watching my playbacks of these videos is the clicking. I understand a few people are annoyed by it. For me, I mean, sometimes it's annoying and personally, I don't like it that much. So what I'm gonna be doing is since I record this with a Yeti microphone, it's a great mic, but for some reason I, okay. For some reason I can't seem to get the clicking not to be in uh, my audio and it's probably because my mic is pretty close to my keyboard and my keyboard's mechanical uh, so that's probably a lot of the problem but what i'm going to go ahead and do is uh christmas is coming out pretty soon here and our next tgm pay check should be coming out pretty soon so what i'm going to do is if i have a little extra cash i'm going to go ahead and buy a headphone headset type of combination uh with a mic from razor so i'll go ahead and do that uh pretty soon here hopefully 
and uh, hopefully there will be no more audio problems because with a, like an up close mic or one that's attached to your headset, you really shouldn't get too many audio problems and that's what I'm hoping is gonna fix it, but uh, you never know. Uh, hopefully that does do the work for me. So we are getting pretty close here to clearing all this out. You guys can kind of see what I'm trying to do here. Make that a little bit of a farm area. Go ahead and get rid of this torch. Probably make this look a lot better with fences and things like that, like Otter did. But uh, we'll do that later if we end up doing it. So now I just have to figure out how I'm going to keep these little animals in. Go ahead and fill this in. We'll make this very boxed off. And you can actually do it with fences, I believe. So the rest I'll do. I'll leave the wall there. Let me go ahead and clear this out too. I'll leave the wall there. That I just built up. And then I'll go ahead and grab some fences. And then we should be pretty good to go. And I think we'll just go ahead and get all the animals together now. I do want to get chickens because chickens are awesome. Um, they actually give you the eggs, which you can use to make cakes. And who wouldn't want a cake? Um, that'd be pretty awesome to make in a game. I don't know how the cakes really work because it seems like you have to use a lot of materials that you wouldn't want to waste. Uh, it seems like it's not worth it, but, I mean, it's pretty cool. So, looks like I've got that enough, enough built up there. Uh, some other things that I want to talk about was mods. Now, there are a lot of mods that are very helpful in the game, like the Double Doors mod or the mod where you just, like, mine the last, um, the very last, uh, I don't know, like, block of wood on a tree, and it all collapses. Uh, a lot of people are using that, Otter's using that, and uh, some of his videos, that's how I kind of found out about it. A few other directors are using it, but personally, uh, I wanted to beat the game completely without any mods. So some people have been asking, oh, why aren't you using this mod or this mod? And my answer to that is, I want to beat the game without using any mods or any help from any, uh, any outside source or anything like that. I just want to straight up beat the game uh, how Minecraft was intended to be played. And uh, without ever having to uh, do any workarounds or any extra help. Uh, with any mods, so that's kind of hopefully going to answer any questions that you guys had about that, because I have had a few people ask, you know, wh why are you doing this or why are you doing that. So let's see. I need some raw materials. I need some wood, and I have to figure out how to make a fence. And I hope I won't have to cut this and check online, but I don't remember exactly. I think you actually need wood sticks, so I'll go ahead and get some wood sticks, and we'll see if we can figure it out. So if I were going to do a fence, I'd do something like I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut real quick, guys, and check how to build a wood fence. So, we'll be right back. All right, we are back, and I went ahead and looked it up. Now, something that was just brought to my attention while I was looking that up was glass panes, and I think they're pretty cool, or, you know, they look pretty nice. They have a lot of the same effect as glass while having the same effect as a fence, uh, which is pretty cool. And I thought about doing that as, like, my fence instead of a fence itself. So, I thought about it, but I don't really like the idea because... Um, that I'd still have to have a door and it'd look kind of awkward. So I just thought about that. Maybe some of you guys are thinking, why not use that? And that's kind of my reasoning there. Uh, I didn't really, I've never used them before, so I don't really know how great they look, but I know they're used in villages. Um, and they don't, I mean, they don't seem like they're that awesome. So I'm still going to stick to the whole fence idea. And I did have to look them up because I'm a noob like that. Um, and I don't remember all these codes, uh, especially for things I've never built. Like I've never really built a fence before. Um, and I don't know how to build a gate either. How do I build a gate? Actually, I actually do know how to build a gate. Uh, so we don't have to look that up. So we'll go ahead and we're going to need an easier way up than this in the future. So we'll go ahead and build the fence. Where are we going to build it? We'll build it right here, I think. Alright. Grab the fence. Um, we'll go ahead and place all of these down. Every single piece of fence is placed. There we go. And now they, they can attach to blocks like that. We're good to go. So now I'm going to go ahead and go right back down. Because I can't just jump over the fence. I'm going to go ahead and go back down and build a gate real quick. It's starting to get dark. Also, one of the comments that was brought up was why not build a bed? And uh, I was like, well, I don't see the reason to build a bed. And the comment back was um, that way it's easier for you to get to, through the nights and things like that since you can still sleep. Uh, and I thought about it, and I'm probably going to end up building a bed, too. Uh, and that was pretty awesome. Thank you uh, for everyone who has recommended things like that to me. I definitely checked them all out. 
And I think that's a pretty good example right there. Uh, that I do pretty much read all the comments, uh, unless it's a really old comment or something like that. This animation looks stupid to me, this gate. <laughs> I don't know why it looks stupid to me, but it just does. I don't know what it is about it. I just don't like it. It's a weird animation. All right, now that we have that built up, we can start putting down some torches in the farm. Go ahead and light this up. That way it doesn't get too dark up here for the chickens and all the animals that are going to be living up here. I'll lay down a few torches in all the corners. And there we go. So now we just really need a way up there. That's efficient. I don't know. We'll, do, we'll keep it like this. Actually, I'm going to build up one more gate. And I will go ahead and place that too. There we go. Where? Let's see. Go ahead and place these down. Place these. And there we go. Go ahead and put that up here. I'm just put it on the side too. That way I don't have to walk around every time. That come from different angles. And that came out weird. <laughs> Alright, try two. Bam. Alright. So now let's go find some chickens. This is part one of a two part series. If you like this video, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up. Rate it. Favorite it. Do all those things, guys. Uh, and I do apologize for being kind of shorter than normal. Uh, but the video as a whole would have been 36 minutes long. And I kind of thought that was a little bit too long. Uh, and people would get bored watching it. So what I did was I went ahead and cut it into two parts, guys. The next video will be about 18 to 20 minutes, just depending. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, leave it a thumbs up. Favorite the video. And I do apologize for the shorter video. Uh, and pretty soon here, guys, we will have some run-throughs of the Ender and the Nether. So definitely stay tuned. Great stuff to come, guys. Check out the full show. Subscribe. Until next time, peace.